Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome back to yet again another Fallout video. And today I'll discuss far in the future of the Fallout series. Now, that is Fallout 5, and specifically what I'd like to see from it. And since we're talking about what I want to see in the next Fallout game, I think it's fair to tell you guys my views on certain things throughout all of Fallout, and you guys know how I feel about each Fallout. Alright, so let's just go in order of each Fallout game, and I'll give my opinion. Starting off with Fallout 1 and 2, and the reason why I bring those two games up is because I never played them. I mean, they look like good games, they're just not my style. But moving on to the real Fallout games, you know, the Fallout games that actually matter. Nah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm sure some of you love those games, and I understand, uh, you know, it's the roots of Fallout in the very beginning. Just trying to trigger you, but moving on to Fallout 3, which is the first Fallout game I ever played, so you know I'm gonna have a bias towards it, just so you know. I love that game. I mean, the atmosphere, the characters, the RPG elements, those are some of the features that hooked me into the Fallout franchise. And the highlights for that game to me is the atmosphere, the characters, and even the story. I know some people hate the story to Fallout 3, but when I think of Fallout 4 story, which I don't hate, uh, Fallout 3 story seems more real and it just fits the world really well and I really get engaged into it. So yeah, those are a few things I love about Fallout 3. Moving on to New Vegas, which I also did not play yet, but there are a few things I know about the game before even playing it. Like, I know the story is about some guy who shoots you and you gotta find him, and to be honest, I like that story idea more than any other Fallout. It's believable, and it's just like, fuck that guy who shot you, go hunt his ass down. I, I just love that, and I can't wait to be a part of that story. I also heard New Vegas is more of an RPG than other Fallout games, which does sound nice, because lately I've been digging RPGs, and Fallout 4 wasn't much of an RPG, let's be honest. I also heard New Vegas has really good side quests, but so does every other Fallout, so uh, nothing new there. But yeah, with my little knowledge on New Vegas, I do respect the game as the best Fallout game technically. Obviously, everyone has their own opinions, but I consider myself pretty knowledge on video games in general, so without my opinion involved, New Vegas is probably the next, or the best Fallout game. I just have to play it for myself so I can confidently say that. Uh, but now moving on to the Fallout game that got ripped a new asshole at release. We got Fallout 4, and I know I was just making fun of that game, I was just joking. But honestly, fuck what the haters say about Fallout 4, I love Fallout 4. I actually like Fallout 4 so much, I'm gonna make a separate video on it, you know, one day. And I know some of you are thinking like, oh, this guy loves Fallout 4, he doesn't have a valid opinion on Fallout. Get the fuck out of here. I do agree some games in a series are so bad if you like them, your opinion is questioned. But in this case, I don't think Fallout 4 is that game. Like, Call of Duty Ghost to Call of Duty is that game. Not Fallout 4 to Fallout. I will admit Fallout 4 is the weakest Fallout game, but in general, it's still a really great game. Anyway, Fallout 4 has so many features that I wanted in previous Fallout games enough that I think it's a fantastic game despite missing some RPG elements. The biggest one that has to be and will be in every future Fallout, like it has to be, like this is a game breaker for me, is no level cap. Like honestly, this feature is so big. I have over three times the hours on Fallout 4 versus Fallout 3, and I think Fallout 3 is a better game. It's even the reason I bought Fallout 4's DLCs. Like in Fallout 4, I got the season pass, but in Fallout 3, I chose to only have one DLC. And that is Broken Steel just because it raises the level cap and it continues the story, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I honestly don't want to get uh, caught up on this one feature too much. So something else I love about Fallout 4 is the fluid gameplay. And I can't talk too much on this either because it's not anyone's fault that Fallout 3 and New Vegas had worse gunplay. Uh, technology just gets better over time, so what could you do? But there's a lot of little features that Fallout 4 has that makes it so fun to me. You know, I can't even name or remember them all. There's just so many little ones. Alright, you guys now know my opinion on each Fallout game. And I can talk about what I want from Fallout 5. 
Also, for the record, and for any viewers watching this way in the future, I don't know if the next Fallout is Fallout 5. It's mid-2017, and I'm just assuming and hypothetically speaking for the next Fallout game, for all I know, the next Fallout game is like Fallout Alabama or Fallout the Takedown of China. Just imagine that shit. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's finally talk about what I want in the next Fallout game. Now, the way I'm going to do this is name some necessary features or things I just really want to see in the next Fallout game. Starting off with no surprise and something I consider a no-brainer, and that is no level cap. I'm sure a lot of people having no level cap in the future Fallout games is a big deal, and since I'm one of those people, having this feature makes me want to explore more and do as much as I can in the game. So without having to go too much in detail, having no level cap only has its benefits, so why not? This next thing I want would be kind of difficult to pull off, but for the setting of the next Fallout game, I would want the atmosphere of Fallout 3, and I would want the attention to detail that Fallout 4's world has. Uh, this would be the most perfect game world in any game ever. Even though some people don't like Fallout 4, one of the things you have to admit Fallout 4 did right was the detail in the Commonwealth. Just imagine going into one of those vaults in uh, Fallout 3 with that creepy vibe as you get deeper in the vault, but instead of the vault you would be going through in Fallout 3, you're going through a vault like in Fallout 4 New Vegas, but still with the atmosphere of Fallout 3. If you could picture how amazing that would be, an entire game like that would be absolutely mind-blowing. Now when it comes to the skills, every Fallout does something a little bit different, and I'm sure everyone has their own opinion of which Fallout does it the best. I have a little bit of a hard time deciding which one I like the best because there's so many things to consider. Overall, I like Fallout 3's leveling system the best. Literally, the only thing I don't like about it is the level cap. I wish there was a way to get all the skills and maybe all the perks in Fallout 3, you know, with, you know, infinite levels. I don't know if that'd be overpowered or not, but it just sounds pretty fun to do. Also, like I said, I do like Fallout 3's leveling system more, but I do think I have more fun with Fallout 4's. Um, as a big part of it, there is no level cap, but I also just like kind of building into the specials and putting points into them so I could get new perks. Um, I know some people hate it, and it's part of the reason why Fallout 4 isn't quote-unquote a real RPG, but I'm not picky, and I like it when RPGs have a simple leveling system that can last a long time. Uh, so if you know what Fallout 4's leveling system is, you kind of know what I'm talking about, but you don't necessarily have to agree with me. I'm also not too sure about New Vegas' leveling system. I think it's just like Fallout 3's, but you pick a perk every two levels instead of every level. If that's true, and if that's all that's to it, then that would be my least favorite of the three Fallout games. But, to sum up the leveling system I would want in Fallout 5, I would want the way you upgrade your skills and perks like Fallout 3, but with no level cap like Fallout 4. Maybe there'd be a way to mix the two, but either would be good. Another thing that's important to Fallout and just the entire franchise that makes it so great is the characters. Fallout has the most interesting characters and the most boring ones. But this is something that's almost in any RPG, so I learned to appreciate the interesting characters and read through the boring ones. Another thing is that a character needs to be interesting when they're important. I find this most flawed in Fallout 4, and a good example for me personally is that I cared more for Nick Valentine than Father. Which is, you know, a pretty big deal, and I know they do uh, have a whole DLC with Nick Valentine, and you don't really see much of Father. Um, I feel like, you know, your character should care more about Father, and I, I don't know, I just feel like that's an issue. Uh, especially with the Far Harbor DLC and the character Dima, who is also interesting as fuck. Build more depth into Nick's story and character, and I feel like they need to do that type of thing with really important characters like Father. Just to name a few characters that we really need that make Fallout so unique, we got people like 3Dog, the Mechanist, and the Antagonizer, even if you hate her, Moira Brown, uh, Hancock, Nick Valentine, my boy Harold, and the list just goes on and on. We just need some depth or some personality in the characters, even if they're bad like Trashcan Carla. 
Okay, that's enough with the characters, you know, that's just pretty much what we need. We need some depth, good or bad, or some personality. Now, I'm just gonna say a few things on what I'd like in the story, and I'm just saying for the record that I don't care too much about what the story is as long as I could stay uh, somewhat immersed and it's not totally retarded. Um, I can even take Fallout 4 story, but that's like the max of my limit. Uh, I was able to feel involved, but it also felt kind of ridiculous at times. Um, I don't want to get into Fallout 4 story too much, but I want something more like Fallout 3's and New Vegas's. Like, it feels crazy believable, even though it's obvious that it's not going to happen. It's just crazy enough to believe. It's the perfect amount of realism in a video game to me. Alrighty, I discussed the more important things in a Fallout game to me and what I'd like to see in the next Fallout game. I believe I talked about the level cap, the setting, the atmosphere, the skill system, the characters, and the story. A little bit. I know I missed some other important things like DLC, quests, and gameplay, but I wanted to discuss what I found the most important thing in a Fallout game. Uh, I still really hope we get good DLC like Far Harbor and Point Lookout, don't get me wrong, and I trust Bethesda will get the quests and the gameplay right. I just really feel like there's a lot of potential in this next Fallout game. Fallout keeps improving in some way with each release, and if they keep in the good features that people want, um, while keeping the game fresh and new, and listen to the fans, we could just have another great Fallout game.